do you get any pushback from the women's husbands or from society? Because I'm interested in what kind of bad behaviour you've experienced doing what you do. Yeah, uh, one of my uh, clients, uh, she was like, uh, it's, it's, uh, I just want to share that he was like, uh, she, she was asking me one day, like, uh, it's very difficult for me to uh, run it on my own. I need, you know, I'm not getting the encouragement like, uh, like my family, like, because they are continuously, they have to be, you know, like, it is like dominating mm. that, you no, know, some, they don't, uh, they don't, they uh, get that kind of confidence to come out from that uh, barriers. So like they say that, how, how do I, uh, I, I cannot understand. I'm not giving time of, I can not able to give my time myself in this business. So I said, then I told her that you try to share your views, like what you are going to get from this platform. And that's so that he can understand. He can understand that this, how you are going to give the, I mean, like how you can uh, give the benefit out of it. So he can understand at the same time, you share your, small, small uh, success stories, like what are things we are doing and you try to communicate with them properly so they can understand. So there are some people who understand it, but there are some people who don't want to understand. That is also there. Like they, they just try to be like, they're like, you know, they know never. This is like, you are a woman. Yeah, mostly you can see in a back of society in India, you can see small villages, some uh, women, they are not getting angry. They are quite pushed by the husbands also and not only the husband along with the family members like they don't like the women should work women should do something their own they should be just inside the kitchen they do all this it's not a bad thing a woman we are born to be like you know we are born to be a get mother like you know you should have the quality but also you you have your own some mm. you should have some self-respect you should try to build your own identity so those are the things we try to uh, give them encouragement to the ladies, the women who are so, so that you can build your own personality, you can build your own image to come forward. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. And, and, and you know, there are, I've heard news stories. I'll come to you in a second, Mary Lynn. Uh, you know, the, so, I mean, the fact that it's news amplifies the, the effect, but there were stories of a husband, not a husband, a father stoning his own daughter to death because she had been raped. And you think, you know, if your own parents don't love you enough to support you, society really needs to change. Mary Lynn, coming to you, tell, so what I'm looking to do with these recordings is to, so we've heard this business professional visionary uplifting story. And I think that men that make unwanted contacts have a certain view. So what is your experience and view of that? Mm, well, I guess my experience has just been where, um, you know, I get hit upon, you know, like as soon as they connect with you, they want to step you out of the platform uh, onto a private network mm. and have a conversation with you. And I just, or, or especially uh, even uh, uh, Instagram is really bad for this too. It's sort of like, and then you get, uh, well, hey, sweetie, I'm a blah, blah, blah. And I'd really like to um, get to know you, but they don't really mean that get to know you. They really mean like, what can you know we do together that you know that's off it's, it's not on the professional network you know they want or can i take can we go out on a date but they don't really tell you that they just you know so there's a lot of that unwanted stuff i think that happens and i just noticed that or else you get the people and you know i understand it's a professional network um but it's always based on relationship first right it's just like you're not going to get a sale from anybody if you're just going to hit them up for a sale, you know, um, or else, you know, I do these services, uh, you know, would you like to buy? And I'm like, 
I don't even know you. Why would I buy from you? <laughs> you know, we've never had a conversation, not even a conversation. Mm. So I understand that there is a professional network and I understand that there are, you know, people that just really don't know, or maybe they're taught to do, you know, go for the target, go for the pitch. Mm. Um, I was just talking to a CEO yesterday in a training he was giving, and he said, since he became he put CEO, he says, oh my God, he says, the amount of pitches I'm getting, like, okay, that's, you know, that could be good. I don't know what kind of a pitches those were, but, you know, but I guess as a woman on the, on the platform, more, more for me is concerned is about the sexual indiando, right. I, you know, or the, those type of things bother me more than the other business pitches. Cause okay. You know, I just, you could just delete them, right? Yeah. Or yeah, remove yeah. Them. But, you know, it's, it's, you could do that with the other person too. But I think um, more awareness needs to be done that, you know, guys, I'm sorry, you can't really do that. Mm. And I'll say, even on Instagram, I'll follow you. And, but when you go look at the profile, it's private. And I'm going, excuse me, you're private. You're not sharing anything about you. I don't want anything to do with you either, you know, mm. kind of thing. So, it's like you have to be strong and just say your piece but at the same time you don't want to be offend too many people but they just have finished offending you so <laughs> well this is this, this is exactly the problem we were discussing before actually because so if we if we split the two types of unwanted behavior so we've got sexual advances yeah. now our first guest there's a, a young lady named Gazelle. I think she um, looks a similar sort of age to uh, uh, Anna Suya. Um, and so they're getting this. This has been the uh, the way of the world, basically, for their entire lives. This online mm -hmm. sort of you're separated from your own experience. If you take... How quickly do you know, Mary Lynn, if it's a, uh, I mean, are the men obviously and overtly sexual? Uh, well, I guess I can know just by what they kind of comment they send me or why they want to connect. Sometimes they'll send me a private message before they want to connect. And, you know, if it's about I want to sell you my services. I really help coaches do this or that. Well, first of all, I'm not a coach, but whatever, um, you know, um, then I can pretty much, you know, navigate myself around those. But the people, the guys that, you know, hit upon you, you know, for sexual reasons or for, you know, obviously, you know, those you just have to, you know, I usually know within the conversation, like, um, I have a question I ask everybody and I always ask, what's important to you? And um, if they come back with, well, what kind of question is that? And I'm going like, well, you know, we're all, we all have our own values and beliefs. I mean, what, what's important to you, you know? And if they can't answer that, then, you know, I just say they're not really interested in having a, a relationship or a conversation with me. So... Now that's Next. interesting, and and you didn't actually tell us uh, much about about what you do do. So what do you do if you're not a coach? Um, I'm doing more about wellness um, training, wellness. It's all you know with a thread of kindness in it, right? You know, like kindness training, but um, more about wellness, workplace wellness, um, helping people to be more. Um, self-sufficient or mastery about themselves so that they are healthier themselves because my belief is just through my own i started promoting kindness in business 20 years ago wow. and through through all my experiences we're like worse condition than we were 20 years ago Absolutely. But, and um so what i realized through all the most the time that i've been doing that is that you know we all come to work with our own garbage